Hi, I'm Scott McLean from TranceMusicMastery.com. In this video, I will show you how Adam Sabo created a lead sound like the one heard in Skyfire, original mix by Shogun. And the sound that Adam created sounds like this. Okay, let's take a look at the MIDI clip, and we have C sharp up to E, and then that repeats, and then it drops down to B up to D sharp, and then that repeats, and then A to C sharp, and then that repeats, and then G sharp to C, and then that repeats. And these notes are slightly longer than a 16th note, and this overlap, you'll hear the effect that this has when we set up the patch. So let me go ahead and play MIDI clip. Really cool distorted lead sound. Okay, let's take a look at the sound map. Adam Sabo says, This sound is very harsh, pushing the distortion to the max. Some detuned square waves are being overdriven to make the sound very aggressive, which make a hard lead sound. So there are three oscillators for this patch. Oscillator 1 is a quad square wave pitched down one octave. Oscillator 2 is a quad square wave. Oscillator 3 is a quad square wave pitched down two octaves. Those oscillators are mixed together and flow through a filter. This is a low pass 12 dB filter with envelope 2 modulating the filter cutoff frequency with zero attack, medium decay, sustain at zero, and fast release. That then flows into filter 2, which is a low-pass vintage filter, and this is what gives the distortion effect on the patch. And that flows into the amplifier, with the volume being modulated with envelope 1, and that envelope settings are zero attack, medium decay, sustain at 97.5%, and a fast release. That flows into the effects, and then to the main output. So for the effects, we have an EQ with a bandpass filter, applying a minus 1 dB cut near 1 kHz, a bandpass plus 12 dB boost near 5 kHz, and a high shelf plus 21.5 dB boost near 10 kHz to really bring out the high end. That then flows into a compressor with slow attack and fast release, and then through a delay, stereo delay with left and right channels at 1 quarter, and a 30% dry wet mix. And then that flows into a reverb with approximately a three second reverb tail, low dampening for a bright reverb. And then that flows into an EQ with a low shelf minus 1.5 dB cut near 175 hertz, a bandpass minus 6 dB cut near 5 kilohertz, and a bandpass plus 3 dB boost near 1 kilohertz, and a high shelf plus 2.0 dB boost at 3 kilohertz. And then that flows into the main output. Okay, let's build this patch. Okay, we're starting from the initialized patch, and the first thing that I want to do is come over here to the global section, change the voice mode to legato, and increase the glide amount to seven. And actually, before I do the glide, I'm going to set the tune to zero, bringing everything up one octave. And then now I will apply the glide setting, setting it to seven. Okay, so we're going to set smooth attacks off and voice drift off. Now, smooth attacks, what that will do is potentially give us a harder attack sound. Could be a little click or pop right at the beginning of the note, and that can help accentuate the attack of the patch. And then the voice drift off, when it's on, what will happen is Zebra 2 is actually emulating sort of the old analog style synthesizers, which would have a slight tuning differences between one note being hit to the next note being hit and when it's off it's very precise now sometimes this is difficult to hear so this is something you just have to experiment with and see if it makes any difference for your particular patch whether you want these on or off in the case of this patch adam has programmed it with these off so that's why we're setting them to off 
All right, next, let me just go ahead and demonstrate how it sounds with these off. And then I'll set them on. Off. Okay, so we're going to set oscillator one to a square wave, and I'm going to grab this handle and bring it over just below the center one, and then bring the center one up, and then this far right handle bring it down, and now we have a square wave. Set it to crisp, and we're going to set it the voices to quad, tune down one octave. Detune, set that to 13.5. And we want to modulate the pitch of oscillator 1, the tune of oscillator 1, with LFO 1, setting the amount to 3. And then now we can go ahead and set up the LFO, and we're going to set the rate the sync to 164th. Set the shape to triangle. Bring the amp down to 60. Bring the rate up to 140. Okay, next we're going to increase oscillator 1 volume, 200. And set the width to 25.5. Okay, next add oscillator 2. Okay, so what we want to do is set oscillator 2 to a square wave so I'm going to copy the wave set from oscillator 1 and paste it into oscillator 2 so now oscillator 2 is a square wave we want to set the voices on oscillator 2 to quad go ahead and set detune to 10 We're going to leave tune at zero, but modulate tune with LFO1, setting the amount to three. And set the mixer volume on oscillator two to 60. And set the oscillator two to crisp. Okay, next we want to add oscillator 3, and we're going to copy the square wave from oscillator 2 into oscillator 3. And for oscillator 3, we want to set its voices to quad, tune down two octaves, so minus 24 semitones. Set detune to 9. We're going to modulate tune with LFO1 and set the LFO amount to 3.0. And then bring the volume of oscillator 3 down to 20. And set the width to 18. Okay, next we're going to set up the envelope. We're going to set the decay time to 24.5, sustain level to 97.5, release to 14, and velocity to zero.
Okay, now we're going to add a filter. So add VCF1. We want to change the filter type to LP12DB. Bring the cutoff down to 30. Bring resonance up to 4. Bring key follow to 50. And we're going to modulate the filter cutoff frequency with ENV2 and set the amount to 20. And for ENV2, we want to set the decay time to 29.5, sustain, set that to 0, and release, set it to 12. Okay, next we want to add a second filter, so add VCF2, and this we want to set it to LP Vintage, and this is what's going to add the distortion to the sound. So we're going to do that by increasing the drive parameter to 100. Okay, next we're going to add EQ, and for the EQ we want to apply a minus 1 dB cut with filter 2, just slightly above 1 kilohertz. A plus 12 dB boost with filter 3, and we're going to set the bandwidth to 0, or set resonance to 0, which will give it a wide bandwidth. So a plus 12 dB boost, right around 4.5 kilohertz. And then with filter 4, we're going to apply a plus 21.5 dB boost, just above 10 kilohertz. And we want to increase the resonance slightly to 28. That really brings out the highs and the distorted harmonics in this patch. So next we're going to add a compressor. We're going to set the attack to 45, release to 12, threshold to minus 30, and compression mix, leave it at 100, which is it's all compressed. It's completely wet. There's no dry part of the signal. It's 100% compressed. And then input and output will leave those at zero. Okay, next we're going to add delay. We're going to leave sync 1 and 2 at 1 quarter. Set the cross back to 0. I'll bring feedback down to 0. Mix, set that to 30. And set feedback to 14. Okay, next add a reverb. And for the reverb, we want to set the dry at 100 and then mix it in at the wet with 26.5. So I'll bring wet down to zero and then set it to Now to help the note come through the reverb, we're going to increase delay to 20, set the range to 84, and feedback to 54, giving this a nice big reverb sound. And then we'll leave 
the other parameters at their default values. Then finally, we're going to add a second EQ. And with this EQ, we're just going to make some refinements to the overall patch and apply a minus 1.5 dB cut with the low pass filter, filter 1, just below 175 hertz. Filter 2, we're going to apply a minus 6 dB cut, just below 5.5 kilohertz. Looks like it's right around 5 kilohertz. And then we want to narrow the bandwidth a bit, so increase resonance to 33. Filter 3, we're going to apply a plus 3 dB boost just below 1 kilohertz. And increase the bandwidth by setting resonance to 8. And for filter 4, we're going to apply a plus 2 dB boost and increase the resonance slightly to 26 and that boost is going to be applied at 3 kilohertz. And finally we're going to increase the output to 90.37 nice distorted lead sound and that's the patch. I'll see you in the next video.